Today, I'm going to be talking about the hero with a thousand faces in the hero's journey. The seminal work, The Hero's Journey with a Thousand Faces by Joseph Campbell, first published in 1949, marks a milestone in the world of comparative mythology and literature. In this video, I'm going to be exploring Campbell's concept of the monomyth, a universe pattern that he argues is shared by historic tales across the diverse cultures and historical periods. The monomyth and its universal appeal. At the heart of Campbell's theory is the monomyth, a term he borrows from James Joyce Finnegan's Wake, synthesizing the insights of psychology, particularly the work of Sigmund Freud and Carl Jung, with a vast array of myths from different cultures. Campbell proposes that all hero myths follow a fundamentally similar structure, which he calls the hero's journey. This journey unfolds in three distinct stages, departure, initiation, and return. Now let's begin with the departure, the call to adventure. The hero begins with the departure phase, where the hero is called to leave the ordinary world and venture into the unknown. This call to adventure may be reluctant or eager, but it propels the protagonist into a realm of supernatural wonder, changes, and the unknown. The hero often encounters a protective figure or mentor who provides them with wisdom and equipment necessary for their journey ahead. Then we come to the initiation, trials and triumphs. In the initiation phase, the hero is subjected to a series of trials. These are often symbolic of psychological or spiritual conflicts that need resolution. The crux of this phase is the abyss or the supreme ordeal, where the hero must confront their greatest fear or enemy, often facing death or a symbolic equivalent. Upon overcoming this central crisis, the hero experiences apotheosis, gaining a new understanding or power. Then after that, we come to the return the master of two worlds. After the initiation comes the return. The hero must make the journey back to the ordinary world with the wisdom or elixir obtained from the initiation phase. This is not always a straightforward passage. It may include a refusal of the return, illustrating the character's reluctance to leave the enlightenment found in the world of the adventure. If the hero successfully returns, they can become the master of two worlds, balancing the mundane reality with the insights of the other realm often bringing healing or knowledge to society. Sociological and psychological dimensions. Campbell's work extends beyond literature, touching upon sociological and psychological dimensions of mythology. He ties the hero's journey to the individual's path to self-discovery and identity. The monomyth can be seen as a metaphor for the individual's quest to wholeheartedly find and encompass one's true self, a process compared to Jung's concept of individuation. The Lasting Legacy and Critiques. Since its publication, The Hero with a Thousand Faces has deeply influenced both popular culture and academic studies. Its notations are evident in film, literature, and other artistic endeavors, most notably seen in the works of George Lucas' Star Wars saga, which illicitly draws on Campbell's notations. However, Campbell's thesis has not been free of criticism. Scholars have noted the Eurocentric basis in his sources and have questioned the universality of the hero's journey structure. Moreover, the monomyth largely adheres to the male-centric narratives, often overlooking the diversity of the heroine's journey or the non-Western storytelling frameworks. So in conclusion, despite its limitations, the hero with a thousand faces endures a powerful analysis of the shared pattern in human storytelling. Campbell's delineation of the hero's journey offers a compelling framework for understanding how we as a species craft narratives to a given meaning to the human experience. His contribution lies in revealing the tapestry woven by countless threads of myths, a testament to the shared archetypes and aspirations that unite us across the bounds of culture and time.